go. I'm Brendan Wing and welcome to another U Fish TV. What a glorious day to be fishing. Have a look at it. Have a look at him. That's Frank. Him and a few other blokes have turned up at Moynes Pier to fish 35 to 40 knot storm force winds in the hope of catching big red. There's nothing else you can do in a boat on a day like today but fish a holly like myself and Frank and Peter and Mario and Gondo over here. We all have to fish. So where do you go? You get on a safe platform like a pier. The wind and the turbulence brings all the fishing close to feed. And if we, if, if our predictions are right, sooner or later, a rod will scream. Now we're prepared to sit here all day. And if we don't get a fish, so be it. But if we do get a fish, it should be a good fish. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the show. We've got a standard surf rod, 14,000 Spiros reel with 400 metres of line. 30 pound line nearly, nearly 400 metres. I need all that, I'll show you why. There's me fresh squid on a standard snapper slider. I haven't got the hook through the head because it's going to be out there for a long time and if the head comes off, I know what the hook's swinging free. So that's just a, a normal casting leader to a swivel straight to the, the main line. I've got a running sink on here, but you're going to say to yourself, what is that white stuff? Well, I've done like a little nail knot to the line there, which I can slide down to there. And on top of that, I'm going to do this. And what I'm going to do is tie that elastic, which is now getting in my way, to this balloon, and then float the bait out on the wind with the balloon skipping across the surface. And what's that gonna do? It's gonna put the bait out much further than I could normally cast it. So basically there it is. And I tie it off round under the knot of the balloon. It's a bit messy because it's blowing like 35 knots here. Just a couple of knots. And then when I'm happy that I've got the distance I want, I can just strike hard and that breaks. The bait sinks into the strike zone. Let's show you how we do it. There it is. Let's go. Just gonna lower it into the water like that. And if you look carefully, you can see the white bubbles. That is a current line coming off the wash off the jetty. We put the balloon into that, and as you can see, the wind is now taking that northward with the southerly wind towards Melbourne, out into the deep water. Within two or three minutes, that'll be out 300 metres, leaving me about 100 metres on the spool, enough to stop any snapper. Now all I do, as the balloon demands line, I just feed the line off the spool. It's already at about 40 metres, 30 metres. I will keep going until it's about 400 metres away, or 300 metres away, tops. Out there we've got a, a little bit of a slope, it goes down to 14 metres. In close here it's about 10. And so we want to get on that slope and hopefully there's some fish feeding on that reef there. Now I've shown you what we're doing, but if we hook up, 
any of these guys are allowed to grab the rod, and I'll be filming it. Okay. Time to bust it off Frank. And that's all we do. And that'll be at Melbourne in an hour. And now we just set the drag to about a kilo and put the rod in the holder. Well, in this case, it's called a railing. And I'm getting out of this rain. <laughs> Give us a smile for the camera. There you go, mate. I was just sitting there minding my business and all of a sudden I saw a rod buckle over in the hole. I thought it might have been a snapper. Walked over and the boys got themselves a lovely salmon there. Nothing wrong with that though. One of the best snapper baits going. I just got a phone call from my mate Wayne, who's out on Think Big today. The name of our boat. He's out in Western Port with customers. Admittedly, it's gale force, but he's in some, he found a nice piece of sheltered water and they have just pulled an 8.01 kilo snapper. The boys are from Kai Abram, tell me they're not excited. Mario, yeah? Oh, yeah, so we thought I'd make the move here. Right from a big on a boat. You can see maybe a big red here, so. You've been doing this a long time, haven't you? Ah, oh, probably 20 years ago. 20 years? Yeah. And you sent it out on a balloon, didn't you? Yes, a balloon about three and a half, three hundred fifty meters. So you can see what it is a big red. Stingray will be great. Eh? Well, it could be a big red, mate. Yeah. I hope so. Lost it, no? No, no, it's coming up. Oh, it's a snapper. It's a, it's a big red. Still not bumping too far. Too far out to feel anything, mate. But that was screaming. Everyone have a look at the weather. It's blowing 35 knots from the southwest and I've come down on the hope that one of the blokes down here would catch a big red. I've got three of my own rods out and we're putting back baits on balloons. 300, 350 metres. And busting the balloons off, letting the bait sink down. Mario's only been here 10 minutes and his rod has just screamed. No one is more deserving than this fish than Mario. I was coming here over 10 years ago and this man was standing on this jetty doing exactly the same thing. He's a bit of a legend in these parts, and this is why. Let's see what happens. Now you realise, mate, this is a television show. Ah, I see, I see you on I see you, no. You say hello to everyone? Yeah. Hi, mate. Hi, everybody. You got any family you want to say hello to? Yeah, I see the family, you know? Yeah? You make sure they watch. What is it, Pete? This, uh, I, I would have to say, I don't think it's a stingray, but it is it's the smallest one I've ever seen. Because it's coming back. Because it's coming back, but I think this fish was actually hooked off St Kilda Mario, put the balloons out that far. And this is Mornington, so it's a fair way. He's been putting this in now for at least 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, Frank. How you going? Why are you here? Catch uh, whatever he's got on his line. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I told you it's good. He's walked down. He's thrown out the first. Is it? Yeah. It's a red, mate. It's a big red, isn't it? I reckon it's going to be a good one. Mario, this is awesome. Get it in, mate. Yeah, big fight. Six kilo, five kilo. Oh, he's gone.
Get him in, Frankie. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo! That's a five and a half kilo snapper, Mario. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well done, mate. How does that feel? Ah, uh, it's not bad, but yeah, you're <laughs> a big one. Actually. That's not a big one, he yeah. says. It's not exciting for me, you know. <laughs> then you get the first fish, it's all right, but when you get them each year. Look at that, single yeah. O'Shaughnessy hook. Yep, single one here. Yeah. Now. Hold him up for us, mate. That's a big fish, buddy. You deserve it. It's only the beginning. Oh, that's a cracker fish, mate. Get to look at him. Wow, look at that big eye. That big single O'Shaughnessy hook. Fins up. Now, is that going to go home onto the barbecue or what? Oh, no, maybe half of give it to friends or family, it's okay. Share it with the yeah, family, you reckon? Three cheers for Mario! Give it hooray! Hey! Give it hooray! Give it hooray! <laughs> hey, congratulations, mate. Well done. Now, do you mind if we share that with the rest of the people of Melbourne? Oh, why not? You so happy with that? Yes, I'm happy. It's okay. Yeah? Why not? Fantastic, mate. Well, there you go. Everybody could come here down Morrington and enjoy themselves on the jetty. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hear that? He wants everyone to come down with their families and enjoy themselves on the jetty. That's Mario. Come on to Morrington. Eh? Spend money here. Eh? <laughs> yeah. So, you don't need a boat. You just come on Morrington and get fish each time you come in. It's and what's good. the secret? The big winds are good? Ah, it's usually second day. Off the globe is best Okay, I reckon we'll get more today. What do you I reckon? I think so. Maybe if it's going like that, till the end of the time, you just a couple more. So. There you go. Well, we're going to get more. We'll see you after the break. Yeah.